Hi everyone, this is Jeff from TeacherCast and welcome to video number two of our intro to Twitter series. Today we're going to walk you through the steps of creating a profile, finding the right picture, creating a great avatar, and finally making that first all-important tweet. What we're going to do is we're going to come over here, we're going to go to twitter.com and we're going to sign back into our account that we made. You'll see here all of the people that we're following. And as you can see, we actually have one follower since uh, since we made our first video here. Over here, we have that dreaded Twitter egg. And uh, first thing that we want to do is we want to figure out how to erase that and put a brand new avatar picture in. And secondly, how we can create a profile that not only makes you shine really, really well, but also attracts people to follow your account and really help you build that professional learning network. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to come over here and we're going to click on the little gear and we're going to click edit profile and here's our profile section we have a spot where we can change our photo we can add our name location website bio and then if we want we can actually link our Twitter feeds to our Facebook account that way every time we make a tweet it automatically goes out on our Facebook wall so let's take a look here Name, I'm going to make keep it the same here for demo purposes. Location, I'm going to say Pennsylvania. Website, I'll put down teachercast.net. And now for our bio, I'm just going to paste in something that I've already written. And of course, it asks keep it less than 160 characters. If I wanted to have my Facebook account attached to it. I simply click. It finds my Facebook account, but I'm not going to worry about that quite yet. All right, let's take a look at our photo. Now it suggested that the photo be a little bit bigger than 50 pixels by 50 pixels. I actually suggest keeping your photo size anywhere between 300 by 300 to 600 by 600, and that gives you a really nice photo. Also, I'm finding that several conferences that you go to will actually go ahead and grab your Twitter photo and use it on your badges. So again, even though Twitter doesn't have a, a large or a small size, it's always best to have a larger picture. It's better for details. You certainly don't want to show up to a conference and find that somebody grabbed a very small picture of yours and then blew it up really big and that's what you have to walk around with. So a few extra educational tips. Okay, so here we are, I've chosen my picture. Now, a couple things that I want you to keep in mind when choosing your picture. I always suggest dress your picture as if it was a job interview. There's a lot of people out there that are using cartoon characters for their avatars, or maybe they've got pictures of the park or some sports stadium they've been at. Keep in mind, this is the first time that people are gonna actually see you face to face make sure that you have an avatar picture that really shows off who you are and the message that you're trying to portray. We have a nice slider here. If you want, you can zoom in or zoom out. And uh, I think we like everything here, so we'll hit save. And after a few seconds, we'll see here that our photo here has been uploaded, also our photo here. And so I'm gonna hit save changes. And there we go. Everything is updated. Get rid of this. So when I click on my name, I'm going to see our new profile picture. This is from the new Twitter sections. Here's our Twitter name, the at Jeff Teacher Cast account. And here's our bio. Here's where we are. And uh, here is our website. So the first thing that we really want to do, I suggest, is just listen. Go out and find things to listen to, find people, find conversations, and to do that, I'm going to click on Discover. And here is a random list of tweets of some of the most popular Twitter handles. We have some people, we have some businesses, we have CNN, and this really gets an idea for what you can do how you can do it on Twitter. I would suggest taking a look at this, you know, for a while. 
Now, if we want to go through and start to make our first tweet, we want to click up here on the Compose New Tweet. And here's our Twitter button. We have 140 characters to make our mark on the world. We can, of course, include pictures, graphics, uh, audio files, video files, a lot of these different things we'll talk about in later videos. But for right now, we're just going to put our first tweet out that says, Hello world. This is my first tweet. And, and you might find this is the first tweet for many accounts. Hey, how you doing? And now a couple things. If you only leave it like this, it really is the tree in the woods philosophy. Right now, as you notice, I only have that one follower. So if I just put this onto a tweet, only one person is going to be listening to me. And if he's not sitting there, he'll never see it. So we wanna make sure that the most bang for our buck happens here with these tweets. So we wanna use some of the educational hashtags. So I'm gonna use hashtag edchat which is a very popular one. And I'll also use one of my other favorite ones, sat chat. And I don't wanna just stop right there. I actually know a few people on Twitter and I wanna make sure that this tweet gets to people. So I'm going to go at teachercast and I'll actually go out to somebody else who I widely recommend you follow our good friend Scott Rocco, which is at Scott R. Rocco. So I'm gonna say, hello world, this is my first tweet. I hashtag EdChat, I hashtag SatChat. I also made sure that TeacherCast and Scott, Ro Scott R. Rocco is gonna be there. And over here we have two more buttons to talk about. If we want to embed a picture, we can certainly do that. Or if we want the world to know exactly where we were tweeting from, we can click this other button and then really it geolocates where we are. So it looks to me that we have 60 more characters. So I think I might take a moment here and add to this. Hello world, this is my first tweet. I am doing a teacher cast demo on Twitter for educators. One thing I want you to notice is that as I got close, this over here turned red, kind of as a warning sign for, you know, we're running out of characters. All right, so I'm gonna click the tweet button, and there it is, I'm off. And if I look at my home button here, you'll see that I have one tweet, and here it is right here. So that's how you sign in. We've logged on, we've created a profile, We've updated our bio, we've chosen a nice avatar, and we've created our first tweet. We're gonna talk in later videos about hashtags, chats, how to start a chat, how to participate in a chat, and then we're even gonna continue on this video series of how to take your Twitter hashtag and stick it on your class website. This is Jeff Bradbury from TeacherCast.net. Thank you so much, I'll see you soon.